Also, I said, watch me over you, saying, hearken to the sound of the trumpet. But they said, we will not hearken. Therefore hear, ye nations, and know, O congregation, what is among them. Whew. Hear, O earth, behold, I will bring evil upon this people, even the fruit of their thoughts, because they have not hearkened unto my words, nor to my law, but rejected it. Wow. They said the fruit of your thoughts. Y'all didn't know, you know, the Most High knows your thoughts. You can't keep no secrets from the Most High. He sees everything. We're not, we, we not saying it. That's coming from the Most High himself. He so. said he's going to bring evil on this people. So he, he said their thoughts. He's saying that their thoughts that they're going to bring to fruition because, you know, they put they, they sit upon their bed just like Esau does and they wake up in the morning and they act out their thoughts and they plan, you know, and he's going to turn it against them, man. You know, either they're going to get their head blown off or they're going to go to jail, you know. He's going to bring evil upon them in the fucking courts. Hey, man, the Lord bringing evil, man. And the evil day is, they, I mean, it's already evil out here. Y'all thought this was bad. Just this wait. It's going to get nasty out here. You read again. Oh, oh, earth, behold, I will bring evil upon this people, even the fruit of their thoughts, because they have not hearkened unto my words, nor to my law, but rejected it. All right, so, if, but if you do hearken to these words, hey, the Lord going to bless you, though. He's going to protect you from the evil. He's going to deliver you from the evil. The Bible has nothing to do with Nimrod. Wow. Nimrod? Who said that? Nimrod? That's old part. He is a that's Nimrod. What, right, that's what that whole shit, they confused, man. Because they block counts the shit teaching that that uh, virgin birth is in the Bible, man. You know? Oh, he trying to say, oh, Jesus is the sun god. That bullshit. Get the fuck out of here, Jeff. The Bible says you worship the sun, you get put to death. So go figure that out. great again that's a strong delusion thing in, in that prosperity doctrine they saying like you know that's a strong delusion. you ain't gonna prosper here the scripture said this is not your rest as long as we living in america under this devil you ain't gonna prosper you are not gonna prosper you're gonna you're gonna stay poor you're gonna stay broke you're gonna stay oppressed that's all there is to it go ahead They all might be damned to believe the truth and have pleasure in unrighteousness. Well, that's right. They do take pleasure in unrighteousness out here, yo. Second Thessalonians 2, 11. And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. So that's why y'all believe, that's why y'all believe in this lie, because the most high said that. If you believe that you are, uh, that the white man is a good guy, you believe America is great, you believe that you can rebuild America, you think, just, bro, they just thought a whole, they just, they, you know, like all these false flags, they believe in, uh, <laughs> you believe 9-11 was done by terrorists? <laughs> hey, they believe, hey, hey, these people, they believe uh, uh, Obama killed Osama bin Laden. <laughs> right. And dumped his body in the ocean, and they believe that. Hey, before that happened, what did we say? We said, watch Obama. He gonna get, old, he, he gonna, gonna get, fight, uh, he gonna get bin Laden. We, we, we pro we've been prophesied that. We already knew. When bin Laden was already dead been for dead. years. <laughs> been dead. Gay ass, <laughs> gay ass commander in chief. He didn't come off as a tough ass people. Hey, but Obama did his job, though. Let me go up, go up a little bit. This, this is a white man into us blowing the horn, too. So it's uh, the second thoughts of Lillian, too, and four. It says, Who opposes and exalts himself above all that is called God or that is worshipped? You know, the book of uh, Obadiah says that it says the same thing, pretty much. It's also talking about Esau. So it says, So that he is as God, sitteth in the temple of God, show himself that he is God. Remember ye not that 
when, you, when I was with, with you, I told you these things. But now you know that we're holding, it's like, what, what we're holding that he might be revealed in this time. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he who now let it for let, but to be taken out of the way. Then shall that wicked be revealed. Uh, Esau. Esau, the, the so-called white man. The wicked's being revealed. Like, we was trying to show you what he did to, like, what he did to us back in slavery. And how he's still taxing us on money. Yeah. Man, it's, it's endless. <laughs> I mean... Man, you can't you can't barely afford to live. What's the minimum wage right now? I mean, if you just make a minimum wage, I feel real sorry for you, cause uh, cause you that's not even enough money to even pay rent, let alone get a car, got to pay gas, car insurance, tags, insurance, all, child support. And look, when you when you get paid, you don't get paid. Uncle Sam gets paid when you get paid. That's one of the top things they're discussing. Right they tax now. the hell out of poor people. They're talking about going up to like 45.6%. And then they claim poor people don't pay taxes. Right. They actually claim that if churches pay taxes, that that it'll be less more taxes for everybody else because the churches make hella money. Hella money. What people don't, what the majority of most probably nobody knows, that when they pass these tax laws, the corporations are the one they're supposed to be paying more taxes. They're supposed to give you a tax break. They're supposed to give the employees the tax break, but they're not, man. But they say the corporate, I mean, they, they say the super rich should pay the least taxes. That's and they crazy. say it's trickled not down to economics. That's crazy. Well, let's make the poor people pay, how much poor people pay, like 20% of your earnings? Man, you, you can't even afford to eat, and the government's taking half your check. It's going to get worse. It's going to get Only the worse. devil would tax poor people. Only the devil would take money out of little baby baby's mouths. You know what I mean? I'm all steroids is coming, man. All steroids. Hey, you know when America was first formed, there was no income taxes. There was no income taxes. It was against the law to tax a man's wages. But y'all don't know that. They're like, how are we supposed to pay for the roads? Don't you know before there was income taxes, they had roads? They had bridges too, and roads and bridges. And, and they had government. It's your fucking road in your bridge. Also, it top of all that shit, it takes you fucking like what, like an hour to get like twelve dollars, whatever your paycheck is. And you get paid like you get paid twelve seventy five an hour. Yeah, you took an hour just to get twelve dollars. You don't That's really get bullshit. twelve though, they gonna tax it. Oh yeah, yeah. So that's cutting that down. That's all. That's, that's crazy. Even even if you get paid twenty five dollars, it still take a fucking hour to get twenty five dollars. That's some bullshit. Right. What are you gonna do with twenty five dollars? You can't do shit with that. Yeah. yeah. Once upon a time, you get paid at the end of the day. And actually, according to the Bible, you're supposed to get paid the same day you work. You're supposed to get paid the same day you work. You ain't supposed to get paid no a week later. I need my. <laughs> weeks later. I want. I need my money now. Two weeks later. You feel me? <laughs> If you get paid every single day, like say you don't have that much gas in your car, you make it through all the week. You get paid every single day. If you get paid every single month, today, you get put gas in your hey, hey, don't go to them check exchange places. Oh, they get you. Don't go there, man. You can. That's another bill. They, they charge you eight dollars a cash check or twenty percent. It's something weird. It's like seven percent of money. 25 percent 24 percent interest and that's against the uh scripture too to uh put a tax on money and we're wait a minute we're all, all the cash checking exchange places in the hood they, oh man place. this place is fucking we're all this, this place gotta go man it's gotta go this place gotta go man uh, where all the liquor stores at right there too, in the hood <laughs> i ain't never seen right a liquor store the in a nice store. neighborhood right next to the gun store <laughs> uh, romans 11 and 25 for I would not, brethren, that you should be ignorant of this mystery, means you should be wise in your own consent. That blindness is part, part is happening to Israel, and to the fullness of the Gentile be coming in. This is probably get to that. And so all Israel shall be saved. So how, how is there, uh, why do they always talk about, uh, you go to hell, you go to hell, you, uh, you go to this demonic place, pitch black, 
But it said all Israel, all the people around this sign, you know, two third Israel, even y'all gonna be saved. Burn forever. Yeah, so but they tell you you're gonna burn forever. That's the, the, the seed of the white man. That's one of those, yeah, that's yeah, that's a lot. Well Jake believe in that too. Yeah. Even going back in up, you know what I mean? Thousands of years, Jake believed in that bullshit. That he thing started that lie. That was Jake. But the Hades, but you know, even Hades, you know, like the Greeks had the Hades. They, they didn't even say nobody was down in Hades burning. That's that bullshit they be teaching. So all Israel gonna be saved, man, according to the Bible, man. The Bible's only dealing with the nation of Israel, man. Ain't there a new tour of people she's fighting Hades? Or, uh, Hell? Loki's daughter, yeah. The, you know, Hell's not in the Bible. Hell's Loki's daughter. So if y'all believe in Hell, that means you believe in Norse mythology. Because Hell's the name of Loki's daughter. That's a fact. Gehenna. Gehenna is actually a place that was that was on the earth. That's where they went, burnt the trash and took the dead body. And they sacrificed children to Baal. It's also known as the Valley of the Son of Hinnom. And another thing, the scripture says, I'm the God of the living, not of the dead. So that just kills the hell theology right there. Like, he's the God of the living, man. We in hell right now. This is hell. According to the Bible, we in hell now, man. This is hell, man. Even, uh, this is Hades. Right. We living in damn Tartarus. You gotta wake up, gotta uh, gotta go to work. You ain't got time to spend with your family, none of that, man. Too busy working. Then we well, now even the women gotta go to work. Back in the day, the women could actually raise the children. Now, the ch you, you don't get paid no money. Now, now the women gotta go to work. And now the children growing up with no parents. That's because it's the kingdom of Satan. Go ahead. Let's talk about that. Luke 10, it's a little speaker. Luke 10 and uh, 15. And thou, uh, Capernaum, like I pronounce it. Capernaum? which are exalted to heaven, which shall be thrust down to hell. So what does that mean? Is they going to put the whole city in hell? Down down hell? That just means from hell from the sky to the ground. So yeah. hell is it's a condition of life. Yep. You know, rich or you poor, you know? This is known as the black man's hell, white man's hell, right? Let me read this real quick. This is uh, Ecclesiastes 3 and 16. And moreover, I saw under the sun the place of judgment that wickedness was there and the place of righteousness that iniquities was there. So under the sun. I got another one. Revelation 20 and 14. That's a good one. So, uh, Revelation 20 and 14. And death and hell was cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. So it's just saying hell was cast into Lake of fire. Yeah, because a lot of y'all, they think the lake of fire is hell, and you're going to burn in the lake of fire. You know what the lake of fire really is? The lake the lake of fire is America when the missiles hit. That's, that's the lake of fire. Oh, that's the lake of fire right here. That's those missiles. It's prophesied in the Bible. It said first by water, then second by uh, fire. That's the Y'all know the missiles are on their way. You know, Russia got a missile called Satan. Satan 2. They got a missile called Satan. They gonna launch those missiles on America. You would improve Satan too. So time is short. You ain't, you ain't, time is short. We ain't got time to be messing around. The missiles are on their way. That's why Christ, he said, I come like a thief in the night. He's coming real soon. Oh, that's the hellfire. That's hell right there. That's the hellfire. You know, they got actual missiles called hellfire missiles. Y'all see the missiles, don't worry. Not this. Not this cracker right here that set up. He ain't coming to uh, do anything. He, he going, actually, he going to be in slavery. You see, he already got his chain. He's already going into slavery. According <laughs> to the Bible, it's going to be a black man coming out the, uh, the so-called UFOs, man. I'm carrying yeah, They're they going to freak out when they see that. Y'all going to freak out when y'all see them angels and those so-called UFOs come out the sky. Oh, now we crazy. <laughs> Yeah, y'all crazy. That's why the scripture, he said uh, the same way he, uh, he went up, he's coming back. Let's get, the Let's get the scripture. We've been, we been quoting everything. <laughs> We're going to get him. Right. I got one. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, what you got? Revelation 9 and 14. Saying to the sixth angel, which had the trumpet. Loose the four angels which are bound in the great river Euphrates, and the four angels were loose which were prepared for an hour, and a day, and a month, and a year, for to slay the third part of men, 
the third part of men. Oh, it's just talking about the devil. You got three classifications of men on earth. You got the sons of God. So the Israelites. Which are Israelites. You got the sons of the devil. The sons of Satan, which is Esau. And then you just got a regular old heathen. And the number of the army of the horsemen were 200,000 thousand. And I heard the number of them. And thus I saw the horses in the vision. And them that sat on them, saying breastplates, having breastplates of fire and of jasper and brimstone, and the heads of the horses were as the heads of lion, and out of their mouth issued fire and smoke and brimstone. By these three was the third part of men killed, by the fire and by the smoke and by the brimstone which issued out of the out of their mouth. Speaking about nuclear missiles. That's that fire and brimstone is not. Hell, fire and brimstone, like he says, those missiles. That's fire and brimstone. For their powers is in their mouth. What you got there? Their mouth, that's the tip of the, the thermonuclear missile. That's the tip. Oh, okay. You know, that's where the warhead lays. Or multiple, or merms, multiple, in, multiple independently re-entry vehicles, which independently go wherever they program to go. Wait a minute, and they got, and they got maneuverability on them, you know? They, they got can change direction when a radar uh, locks on you. He got fully autonomous missiles. Ain't that crazy, man? Yep. A missile can make a decision on its own. That's crazy. Man, he's always blessed with the sword, man. That's his blessing. You live by the sword, die by the sword. That's it, man. I got one. Revelation 13 and 9. This, is, this kills the whole hell. Theology, whatever you want to call it. Revelation 13 and 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. So all your people, y'all got ears, man. It says, He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Hey, back. He that kills with the sword must be killed with the sword. Hey, back. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. So, of course, in the Bible, Somebody, the so-called white man, he got to pay for it. He got to pay what he did to the Native American. He got to pay for what he did to these people in the sun, man. And according to the Bible, he's Word going into the pits. Right. He's going into slavery. So so how is there such thing of hell when uh, Yahweh Shah, who you all call Christ, said that we're going to have slaves in the kingdom? According to the Bible, so what, we're going to go down to hell and just pick up people like, oh, well, you can be a slave today. Like, come on, man. That kills the whole hell theology, man. That is hell. That's going to be their hell. Esau's hell. Well, yeah, Esau's hell. Uh, this is 2 Thessalonians 1 and 6. See, it is a righteous thing with the Most High to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. Now, who trou who's, who's troubling you, man? Right. What, who's troubling? Who's getting trouble? Yeah. These people, man, we a target. We've been a target since the beginning. We've been a target since birth. You know what I mean? We, we, we got a target, but we did it to ourselves, though, man. Where you, saw, dirty, where you man. see all the cops at? You don't see cops over there patrolling uh, these rich neighborhoods. They patrolling the, the ghetto. That's, what, that's like a slave patrol. Because back during the slavery times, you had slave patrol that would just constantly monitor the neighborhoods, keeping everybody in check. And that's what they're doing today. That's why they got cops out here. they just patrolling the neighborhoods. Another thing, uh, a cop told me this out of his own mouth. He said the only reason why they patrol in the, uh, uh, bad areas is because they're bound to find something. Either they got a warrant, they got drugs or they got guns. He said, that's this crazy. is how he get paid. And this is what a cop told me. That's he said, that's crazy. how he pay his family. That's crazy. You feel yep. me? So right. this uh, And to you who are troubled, rest with us. When the Lord, Yahweh Shai, shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels in flaming fire, taking vengeance on them that know not the Most High and that obey not the gospel of our Lord, Yahweh Shai. So if you don't obey the gospel, you go, you're going to eat missiles. You're going to taste that fire. You're going to be swimming in the lake of fire. Hey, that's what the Bible says. There ain't going to be no fucking cracker coming out the fucking sky, man. It's going to be a, a so-called black man. Stinking ass cracker. Hey, let me, I, I got I got a precept for you. You might as well get it. Go ahead. This is a day of two, 12 and 2. And many of them that sleep, which means die, and the dust of the earth shall wake, 
some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. They say you <laughs> it says some people will wait right. I mean, this also proves that scripture proves two things. It proves the reincarnation is in the Bible, and it proves there's no such thing as hell. Because we all gonna awaken in the kingdom. Some people you know the everlasting life, and some people the everlasting shame. Some people gonna come back in the reincarnation and they're gonna remember all them sins of their past lives. And they're gonna feel bad about it. Don't teach the word of God. Well, don't, don't, don't obey the gospel. All right, and it says, says some you gonna be at least in the kingdom. So I thought if you do wrong, you're gonna be in hell. Shit. No, you gonna be the least. You gonna be the least in the kingdom. That's like my Israelites. All them, all them, yep, uh, Israelites. Big ass pastors. He said he that teaches uh, not to follow the commandments gonna be the least in the kingdom. Like the oh, he did say that too. You'll be, oh, that's that. Yeah, Matthew five. That's Jake. But the, but the heathen yeah, who's counted as nothing. We know the scripture says less than nothing. <laughs> and spit. Spittle. Spittle. Here we go. Revelation 18 and 5. For her sins have reached unto heaven, and the Most High have remembered her iniquity. All right, cause, uh, up in heaven, because there was a big UFO site here in Columbus last week. There was, you know, people, all kind of people got video of it. Because the angels is watching. The Most High is watching. You got to see. You got to show me. I, I got it's on. I seen somebody showed me it on Facebook. Uh, I don't know the video. I got. I got to ask. When I saw it like three weeks ago, it was like where the Nationwide building is. Yeah. And it was low, like the building itself. It's not. You know how we usually yeah, yeah. see it, but it was. I saw it. I was watching that way. And yeah. I, I could see it going across, man. And it looked. And it looked man. Oh, they say everybody on the bottom seat. And that tell you something too, because that's all Jake's. Everybody living, uh, they all grimy over there. You know what I mean? Uh, what they call the abject? They living in abject poverty over there in the bottoms, all over this city, bro. People living. Columbus ain't number one big ass ghetto. That's all it is. Yeah, the whole the whole United States. It's like a third world country. America thing is so great, man. This this place is filthy. It looks like a post apocalyptic wasteland out here. That's what it looks like. Surrounded with brown waters, which is what they say, nothing but a massive slave ship. That's what it is, a massive slave. They want to build that wall. That's to keep us in. <laughs> now you can't flee to Mexico no more. You break the, you know, you know, Jake, do it. You commit a crime, if you flee to Mexico, they put that wall up here. You ain't going nowhere. That wall will take forever. Oh, yeah, it is. You see the, the, Blueprint they got out for it. it's yeah. crazy. Man. It's a massive wall. Right now they're trying to decide on which wall they're gonna use. They got like four or five, you know, uh, the prototypes. Prototypes, right? They're gonna test them prototypes. They're gonna hit them with trucks, semis. They're gonna hit them with uh, grenades. Oh yeah. They're gonna do. They're gonna have fun with it, man. And, and and Jake, it's a car down Mexico. Just gonna hop on a plane and fly over. You know what dude was saying? <laughs> hey, dude was saying why they was making. They got about planes. The, why they were talking about the walls? Dude, that was getting interviewed. He was like, at, at this very moment as we speak, Mexicans are building a tunnel up underneath somewhere. They already got the tunnel. <laughs> the tunnel's been there. Right. Or they just get on a plane. I mean, you got people with dual citizenship. I mean, they just hop on. It's easy to get here. Majority of most Jews got dual citizenship. Yep. And that's true, they're the biggest drug dope dealers, too. Verse 6, reward her even as she rewarded you, and double unto her double according to her works, and the cup which she had filled, filled to her double. That's double right here. Okay, now you gotta get payback for this, man. You think the most high, he's he about righteous. He's about, he's about, he's about, he's about, uh, Righteous judgment, man. A balanced scale. It said uh, uh, a false, a false balance is an abomination to the Lord. Thousand you don't think years. the so-called white man got to pay for yes. this? You don't think a he got to pay for this? Oh. Wait a minute. You know, think about that thousand years. Days is going to be long. One day is going to seem like a year. <laughs> oh. That's Because back in the slave days, man. That's funny. Days That's long. funny, though, because right now, yeah, because right now the days are shorter. For us, yeah. a lot of people are gonna say, "Well, why he can't be forgiven for his sins? 
Why he just can't pray? Because the Most High not dealing with the so-called white men. The Most High requires that which is past. Hey, get it, get it, get this scripture. Let me finish this. How much she have glorified herself and lived deliciously. Yeah, they because hey, the Esau, the elite, they living deliciously. You, you got what they call the one percenters. Man, they living deliciously, man. I mean, they, they could they could cure world hunger. They they, they could uh, get rid of homelessness and all that. They, but get, nope. they got the cure for AIDS, venereal, all venereal diseases, all everything that they say is uncurable. They got the cure for. Well, they don't want y'all to have nothing out here because it's easier to control you if you're poor and you don't have nothing. Oh, that's a bad thing. That's cool.